Thank you again for joining Creative Vision Media's The Entrepreneur Huddle, where we share tips for your small business can grow as a certified firm or as a firm looking for more marketing strategies. I'm Cherise Chester with today's segment, which is how to market your government certified company. Three quick tips to market your certified company. Once you have that certification, whether it's a small business certification, a certified business enterprise certification, a disadvantaged business enterprise certification, or whatever the name may be, wherever you're located, it is important that you schedule a time to meet with the procurement officer of the department you are targeting. Remember, these are governmental employees, so they welcome the opportunity to share with you their process, their forecasting list, and if you don't know, the forecasting list is the projects that they plan to put out in the upcoming six months, year, it all depends on how they how they prepare their forecasting, but it lets you see which contracts will expire and will be up for renewal. So go in with your list of questions, introduce yourself as a certified firm able to do business with that department or agency, talk about your strengths, and all of that should be included in item number two your capability statement, your collateral materials, and other marketing materials. Make sure your capability information is one page when you go meet with that procurement officer. Not only should it list the certifications of that particular entity, but all of the certifications that you have um, for your company should be listed because it shows the strength, one, of your organization. Two, it shows your capability of um, being interested in performing in multiple arenas, as well as your thoroughness as a professional and a business owner. Lastly, it is important that you understand when you go in to meet with these agencies that there are lists of firms that are constantly pursuing work in that department. As for a public records request, for example, if contract A is scheduled for an expiration in a month, request the last proposal that won the bid. Also, get a list of the firms that submitted a bid to the agency. Then you take the opportunity to introduce yourself to each of those firms, citing to them that you are certified in a particular category always share how long you've been certified it's not one thing to be certified a year two years but if your company has been certified 10 years has been taking green courses for for a certain certification has um, completed the um, lean or six sigma training or has presented at national conferences all of that should be included in your discussion regarding certification. Certainly it is important to talk about the projects you completed, but a part of the certification is demonstrating your understanding of the agency, the industry, and your pursuit for professional development. All three factors should be tied in when you talk about how your firm is a certified company and you look for opportunities not only to partner with them, to grow and to be a leader in the industry. So it's absolutely necessary that you include all those components when you meet with the procurement officer, talk about your trainings, your certifications with other agencies, if you performed work with other agencies. So if you're going to meet with a state agency, talk about the other departments or agencies that you perform work with. Also talk about if you perform work on the state or the federal level, be sure to explain your experience and your track record and your projects. Also, once again, talk about the length of time you've been certified as a company. And then also talk about any special certifications in the private sector that you have gained as an individual or your company or your team members that demonstrates your depth of knowledge and interest in really being a front runner in pursuit of projects as a partner with the private company or as a direct bidder with an agency. 
So before we close this quick segment of how to market your certified company, here are a couple of tips to keep in mind. And don't forget to go to the bestcreativeteam.com and sign up for our newsletter so you'll be alerted of other postings and videos regarding how to market your business, how to grow your business, how to use certification um, to, to position yourself in the market, as well as how to avoid governmental contracting mistakes, what we do in terms of events, creative design, and all of that creative um, services in between. So here are some closing tips. Keep in mind, certification is free. A lot of people like to charge for certification, but the, it is free. The only thing you should pay for certification is your time. What you should do, and this is my recommendation, if this is your first time filling out a certification, take a Saturday, lock yourself into your office for three hours and fill out the form. That's it. Don't pay anyone. You can do it yourself if you set the time aside. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes because the documents are the same. And one, it's important for you as the owner to do the certification because you'll understand how to protect your certification, how to avoid the pitfalls. Because what we find in our compliance consulting is the, the firm owner delegates the certification to someone else, which is rightfully so, because a lot of times small businesses don't have the opportunity to, to take that time. But you really must understand what you're signing up for. Um, don't delegate, get a project and not understand the requirements of the certification because we've seen countless number of small firms hit with major penalties. Some of them went out of business, $11,000, $50,000 in penalties because they did not understand once you sign up as a certified firm, these are the requirements you must meet. There are no exceptions. So you must meet those requirements. You must remain certified and you must commit to these steps um, if you're used on a project. So please understand what certification means, um, what being on the certified on a contract that has small business goals means. Even though there are small business goals, there are still big business responsibilities in terms of payments and um, benefits. So that's important to keep in mind. Also, keep your certification active. Put it on your calendar two months out that it's due. You never want it to lapse because that will be the time when a project will come up or a potential opportunity will, will, call, will call to engage your services and you won't have your certification lapse. And what happens once you tell them, no, I'm not certified, what happens? They never come back. You don't get a second chance to deliver. So keep that certification um, active. And this is what I had to learn the hard way. Get every certification that you are eligible for, even if there's no interest, because you will be surprised who will approach you about opportunities and you're not even certified in the category. And maybe it's something where there's a growth opportunity and because you're not certified, you cannot pursue it. And what happens? They never come back. So if you are eligible for certification on the federal level, if you're eligible for certification on the state level, if you're eligible for certification in a certain city, do it all because you want to make sure you are what? Prepared. What is real success? When preparation meets opportunity. So my advice, if you remember nothing else on this quick tip, is to get certified in every area where your firm is eligible. And lastly, and most importantly, I think, go to our website, thebestcreativeteam.com. Very easy to remember. And sign up for our newsletter so you'll be notified of future postings regarding small business success that we call the Entrepreneurial Huddle, where entrepreneurs share with each other their success strategies for winning in business. Thank you.